welcome back to the Constant Complete Podcast. Featuring myself, Spencer, and my co-host, Matt, with Neanderthal Gaming TV. And straight from the farm, fresh off of Bush's Baked Beans, Biscuit. How's it going? Hey, I finally got the secret formula. Now that dog can rest in peace. <laughs> Cock's going on? in the background. <laughs> it shouldn't. They're surrounding the basement. I got to get out of here, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Podcast over. You got your basement surrounded by being above you. <laughs> by, by, by hanging up in front of the one door. Shit. <laughs> Sick. Uh, <laughs> uh. Good. All right, cool. Uh, games I played this week. Um, yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> it gets better every time. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I spent... Uh, afternoon playing Delta Rune. Uh, gonna have videos on that this week, um, along with Resident Evil Six. Should be the last bits of that. Yeah. Um, Delta Rune. It's like Undertale, except for it's uh, um, it has more gameplay to it. If that makes sense. Mm. Like, like uh, like with Undertale, you had like puzzles, and then you had the combat. And this one, you have puzzles, you have like combat, dodging. you have you have combat, but with three people now. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> but um, uh, that, I mean that's actually one. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got the wizard, the person, and the other thing. You got the um, black mage, the white mage, and the green mage. All mages? Are you? I don't are know, you Crazy? Dude. I'm a crazy dude. <laughs> I'm fucking nuts. I can't stop. I don't actually think there is a green mage. I might have made that up. There's, yeah. I, if there is, I there's think there's black, like red and white. Uh, yeah, uh, not in Final Fantasy. In Final Fantasy 1, yeah, there's those, but uh, later on, I think they get like a, a nymph or something. Mm -hmm. uh, like one of the games that has, they're like, you can like have like billions of jobs or something. Oh, Probably right, Final right. Fantasy 6. It's always Final Fantasy 6. Yeah, <laughs> it's always that one. Um, yeah, Delta Rune's a lot of fun. Um, if you like Undertale, you're gonna like Delta Rune. Um, trying to think of bits and pieces that you would enjoy. Um, they make it interesting with the first chapter because, like the what, the start of the beginning. If in case you don't know what Delta Rune is, uh, Toby Fox released this thing, which we, I mean, we talked about this last week, but um, he released this uh, survey program, which was actually the first chapter of Delta Rune. Which uh, he he claims that it's not the same thing as Undertale, but uh, people are speculating that it's like an alternate universe kind of thing. Mm. So we'll see see where that plays out at. So he's technically right, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it has like most of the same characters in like in the Dark World or whatever. There's, that's a whole new um, cast of characters as well. Um, the jokes are pretty funny. Cool, uh, cool, cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to think what else. I don't know. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fistcake with all the hot Delta Rune action. Nice. Uh, then I spent an hour trying out this game that I've seen around before, but like didn't see a whole lot of, and I keep forgetting about it. But then it was like on sale for five bucks. I'm like, oh, okay. It's called Get Even. And, oh. um,. It's like a first-person shoot. It, well, it is a first-person shooter, and horror the, elements. Yeah, I kind of. I mean, not really any horror so far. Like there was like a kind of like one jump scare uh, somewhere in the beginning, but With um, thriller elements. Yeah, thriller is more like it. Yeah, and I guess. Um, <laughs> yep. I the hear. first. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! You sons of bitches. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So basically the story is you um, you don't even like really get to n know who you are until uh, after you do this one mission where basically you're kind of sneaking into this area. You're trying to save a girl. Uh, you go to save the girl. Um, but then she has like a bomb strapped to her chest and you you try to de uh, classic. defuse it. Yeah. It explodes. Oh, shit. Double but, classic. But you wake yeah, but you wake up and then now uh, you're like being um, guided by this doctor guy to help you figure out your memories, like who you are, why you were there, and why you're trying to save the girl. Oh, which um, amnesia going on here? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's kind of it's halfway interesting. Um, although 
they give you this cool gun called the corner gun, which is exactly what you would think it would be. Go ahead and throw me a wild guess as shoot to what it does. Around corners. Is it shoot around corners? Uh, yeah, actually, Spencer had it right though because he said it first. Sorry, and he had the right <laughs> he had the right uh, uh, fluctuation of words. Um, but yeah, you get this cool corner gun thing, and the guy's like, "Yeah, but don't kill people because otherwise that's going to mess up the simulation. You won't be able to recover your memories." I'm like, oh. So you just don't why use the gun now? You don't. I mean, you can, but like, I guess I'll probably like keep you away from the true hardcore ending for hardcore get even people. Mm. But, and it, it's even to the point like this is the first hour, so I'm not even like worried about spoiling anything. Um, you get you get to the point like where you're in actual gunfight, <laughs> and after you like you kill two people, he's like. I, I have to insist that you have to uh, not kill people, otherwise it's going to mess up the simulation. Like, Why call the it a game supposed... called Get Even if you don't get to get even? <laughs> if you can't shoot anybody, what's the whole fucking point? <laughs> so I was like, okay. I think I'm going to finish it because it's only like eight hours long, so I'll probably have that finished out um, at some point. But it's just like, why would you have a cool gun and have a uh, not be able to like actually use it. Yeah, I mean, unless like you get like a like a tranquilizer gun or something at some point. But yeah, how do you uh, survive the gunfight otherwise? Uh, you just well, I think you're supposed to shoot the first two people, and then you're supposed to like run past them. But like you're like you're on like a top floor, and there's like three floors below. Like there's enemies on like the th- three floors below you. It's like okay. Cool, I guess. Um, just escape. Basically, um, what is it? Mirror's Edge it. I, guess, I mean, yeah, except for without the cool like parkour and running thing. It's just... Right. <laughs> um, another cool aspect of it is that you have like a phone that pretty much has like an uh, entire investigative kit with it. It has like a UV lights, thermal vision, uh, scanners, and stuff like that, which that's kind of cool. Take. And you Yo, use the scanner. Up, corn? How's it going, corn? Oh, hello, Corrin. And you use those to kind of like explore and figure out what's going on and whatnot. So, well, right now I'm kind of like meh. So, but I'll finish the game and see how uh, how even you get, you know. <laughs> right, right. Um, other than that, I played Black Ops Four. Cool. It's okay. Um, I don't know. Like I, I actually had some fun the other day when I wasn't even when I wasn't streaming. I was just kind of chilling and playing. I'm like, oh, I'm halfway decent. Although, I still I for, I forgot the the shitty part about Call of Duty where you have to like, basically play a hundred rounds before you get like, you know, we can like actually get the same weapons that everybody else has, right? And yeah. multiplayer and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, okay, whatever. But it's kind of fun to kind of like try to fight your way out of that. But it's like, man, blackout is still blackout. I haven't gotten close to winning anything in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm still like, uh, above 50th play. Uh, like I'm below 50th place place. Hey, hey, words are hard. <laughs> 50th place. Um, I just think it's cause everybody's gotten like a month ahead of me or something. So yeah. since like, cause it released like last month, right? Yeah. 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 So it's probably what it is. Just need to play some more and I'm trying to, to get through fucking Red Dead 2, but holy shit, it just won't let me. It just <laughs> it just it refuses to allow me to do it. <laughs> I I enjoy the 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 uh the depth to it. I enjoy the side quests, like like you said before we started streaming, like there's some quests that like go on even longer than you originally anticipated for. Like you just keep seeing characters and whatnot. It's like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, like the uh, the Callaway mission, you can actually like finally finish that in chapter four. I think is when it shows up again. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, it does sound familiar. It's the one. It's the gun. Yeah, you kill the gunslinger. Gunslingers take the pictures. Oh, oh Jim Callaway. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you can finally finish that in chapter four at the, some point. The uh, fucker who just disappears for like weeks. After you finish his missions, yeah, just the like, one. Okay. I've only had yeah. the one from him. <laughs> if he just stayed in the same place, I killed. All, I mean, I, that's like the first thing I did because I yeah, wanted. Yeah, that was it. the first thing I did as well. <laughs> it's like, give me my fucking money. 
Um, the I'm in chap. Well, I'm actually in epilogue one out of two, two. which apparently is a fucking thing. I still. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about more when we finish it, but <laughs> I like I get it. Like it's cool that you have more stuff in the game, but maybe just cut it in a half so you have one epilogue instead of two. Right. Like uh, to me, it doesn't make sense to have two epilogues because that's just. I mean, why don't you just call one chapter seven and the actual epilogue, epilogue? You know. Yeah, but, I seem to remember something where like the first epilogue like s- certain stuff is accomplished in the second one's like more of an actual like after epilogue but i just yeah, remember I, reading I, like that as like a it wasn't really a spoiler just like oh there's two epilogues and here's why type scenario so well, maybe I mean, it'll be I'll pro- sorry maybe, go ahead <laughs> well i was just gonna say maybe it'll make sense when, when you get there yeah uh, i mean i knew i i knew what was going to happen was going to happen and the epilogues I guess makes sense, but again, you should just call it chapter seven or uh, yeah, the next one epilogue. Like yeah. leave an actual, ep- like make the actual epilogue an actual fucking epilogue, not right. Not like ah, oh, this is after the thing, but now there's two parts and there's twenty story more. There's twenty more fucking story missions to do. So good luck, right. have fun. Like, yeah, I just, think I think naming the epilogue is really the main issue that I could see ha- having with it because it sets up an expectation. And usually, when you see an epilogue in a game, it's kind of it's 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 a little shorter maybe there's like one last thing you got to do you know or mm-hmm. or even like you were saying you were expecting there to be like a cutscene or kind of a longer bit uh that yeah. kind of ties things together at the end um but instead you're you, you're hit with oh wait no the game just keeps going as if it's not an epilogue that it's just another chapter yeah exactly i mean yeah that's what that's really my main problem is that it's called an epilogue when it's not an actual epilogue like I would have been fine if the epilogue was like the free roam you can do after after you like you normally beat a game. Like, right. oh, you can go back and do all those missions and stuff. Here's here you go. Like, okay, cool. No, it's it's not that. It's more more story. I don't know, I think it just has that pacing issue. I think that's what my huge problem is. Like it they could have they could have cut a lot out of the story, mostly with like horse rides that you can't like really interact with people. Um Cause I mean, like I, I understand like being able to like uh, do the horse rides with people like, Oh, you can actually like do the L2 choose a yeah, conversation. But a lot of thing. them, they don't say anything. Like, yeah, you exactly. There's very few. And then I have to check like multiple times throughout the thing to mm-hmm. see maybe if it's updated. Cause I've had some where it's like, there's nothing in the beginning and not even really talking. And then they'll start talking and then they'll stop talking, and then I'll hit L2 again, and he'll be like, whoa, this is quite a ride, huh? <laughs> That's my boy. You know? That's my boy. Yeah. Um, it got to the point where, like, I was in Chapter 6, and I forgot, like, it was an actual option. And thank God, I like, I selected, I just randomly hit L2 to, like, target the person. Because, like, it revealed, like, a huge story drop. I'm like, what the fuck? What? They were just Why is this for just- you to do that. Yeah, like, why is this a casual, like, no, that should be part of a cutscene or something, but I don't know, like, and you can't, like, they can't say, like, well, we don't allow you to skip any horse rides, because you've, they've skipped numerous horse rides right. from missions, yeah. so it's not like, it's not like, oh, well, we don't want to do that, I'm like, well, you Dude, fucking did it, like, three times. the best thing after a mission is, like, hey, do you want to come back with us, or do you want to... Uh, keep going, I'm like, I'm coming back with you, that's a free trip, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's a free trip. Yeah, that's my exactly. boy. <laughs> Free ride. That saves me a half hour of tapping the X button. I reckon. Um, <laughs> exactly what it does. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, no, yeah, those things, those those are cool. But usually, like when that happens, I actually have stuff to do, so I never use them. Like, oh, but I gotta go do the mission that's like over on the side over here. So I go yeah. back to the camp. I'm gonna be even further than I ever was before. Yeah. So it's like. But. There's always like a cost analysis there, and what sucks is like if you don't plan that ahead of time, you just get the option, and you can't like check your map or anything like that. And so you're like, well, yeah. I don't know if I want to go back just yet. I guess I am, but <laughs> here it, I am now. It, in that game, you really gotta plan your trips because like shit yeah. is far sometimes. Oh god, it's so fucking far. It's and cool like though, I finally like how big the world is, and like the, there, there's there's definite biomes that have a lot of space to be like their own thing. But man, sometimes going different places, you, it's like, fuck, okay, is there a yeah. stagecoach somewhere, please? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just went way far up north. I was like, this is going to be a trip. 
So I need to okay, we're find a stagecoach <laughs> and explore the area just so if I need to come back up here, I have. Yeah. It cuts off a little bit of time. Yeah, Matt, when yeah. you found like a my, uh, An- Ansberg or whatever. Yeah, or, or, yeah uh, Ansberg. Uh, it's like, oh, sick, I found a mining town. Now I can have, have a stage goes back. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much half the game is figuring like, okay, if I just got to plan my fucking trips, I go here to this mission, do that mission. Hopefully I don't get too far off so I can go do this next mission. Oh, God, there's a stranger mission over here. Should I go and do that real quick? Well, I guess I should have him in the area. Oh, God, they put me on the other side of the world now. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I got I to find a stagecoach to go back. Oh, there's something happened on the way to the stagecoach. Great, cool. This game never fucking ends. Okay. <laughs> yeah, That's half it. the time, Matt will have, like, a, a waypoint on his thing that he, he never ends up going to for, like, 20 minutes because he's doing other shit on the way. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's I, don't, I don't know how I feel about it. It's not a bad game, but I can't really say for sure if it's a great game too it's very complicated but um i think uh there's there's, there's a weird feeling when it comes w- w- with that stuff too because it's like at one point you could be like well just don't do those side things that you come across and just do the mission you want to do but then it's like yeah but the people sound so needy you know what i mean well it's mm. not even that oh my chick's getting raped i'm like i can't let that happen again I... right yeah and and, <laughs> and and they're all incidental exactly. so it's not like you can go back and do them oh like, no some of them repeat some of them repeat yeah okay. but mm. you don't know which ones are going to repeat well i'm pretty sure they probably all repeat or at least uh, 90% of them repeat. Mm. Um, I guess I guess it feels like you don't know if when you leave, if this is going to be something you can come back to. Mm-hmm. So you you, you, have, you you have this urge just to do it now, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so. Which, I mean, like, you know, on one hand, it's like, well, the game has good content to make, to kind of give you this urge to do the things as you come across them. But at the same time, it's like, yo, can I just do the thing that I came here to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, exactly. It's just it's so much. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it after like I've actually finished the game and spend like a med- spend a day in a meditation chamber somewhere and yeah. think about it. One thing, one criticism that I have of the game because I mean, uh, you know, Matt's playing it too, so it's not like we're cutting into our own time talking about the game. Um, hmm. One criticism that I'm not making sure it is criticism. It's just being a uh, a you know, someone who's watching somebody else play the game, maybe it doesn't it doesn't affect me the same way. But it really feels like once you get items at the beginning, that like gear doesn't matter anymore. Like you can you have access to like all the better weapons almost immediately. Mm, like, I mean, yes and no. Some stuff is locked off from you in the first couple hours of the game. But I guess what I'm talking about is like once you get to that point in chapter three that it seems everyone happens where all of a sudden money's no longer an issue. Um, mm-hmm. you've, you've already gotten the stuff you want to get. You've already, you know, you already have the guns you like, and you have familiarity with the guns. So it's not like you want to just be using a ton of different guns all the time. Like Matt's like packing like, uh, you know, one of everything, mm-hmm. right? And like uh, as far as end game stuff, I don't see anything else. Like there's no like super awesome guns that you can get later on. None because, that I would want to replace with. Right. Well, like. Those gunslinger quests, um, are, 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 it's so early that it's like, all right, now I'm going to use Granger's, you know, uh, uh, revolver. Revolver. You know, yeah. and that's going to be my revolver until I get, I don't know, a volcanic pistol or some shit. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, um, it's that, and then it's also the outfits seem like they're, there's a lot of mixing going on with the outfits, but at the same time, the options for a lot of this stuff, there's a lot of really bad looking options for things. Yeah, I don't like understand. It artificially w- lowers the amount you can do. Yeah, like I don't understand the point of having like a, the tailor in Saint Denis, and then it still have like the duster look like it's been worn. worn you know, mm-hmm. where it looks like it's I don't know shitty. It's like ripped and stuff. Yeah, it's like why would I buy this duster? Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's really no point to the tailor other than like oh, this is a bigger city. So the tailor and the general store are two different places. Herpeter. Oh, and also you can get like slightly dapper or looking stuff, but there's like one or two options and that's it. Maybe yeah, I didn't see tie. those. Yeah. yeah. Dude, the puffy tie oh. is legit. You got to go puffy. I forgot tie. ties exist too. God damn it. Dude, yeah. puff tie. And it's also kind of weird that you can't buy chaps in the tailor. I yeah. got to go all the way to strawberry to look at chaps. Yeah. Oh, you can buy uh, buy them in strawberry? 
Yeah, I think yeah, so. See, right? Yeah, where do I yeah. buy ter- chaps? I don't fucking know. So I'm gonna eat these pants. Yeah, yeah. And I'm again, to see my crotch because the pants, <laughs> the majority of them look like shit. Yeah, uh, the jeans don't look like jeans. No, nothing makes sense. The, 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 nothing, nothing in that. I mean, like, doesn't make sense. It, <laughs> it's just like. I understand maybe at the general stores, you know, maybe they're lower quality, but it doesn't mm. make any Nothing sense. It's better. Like, I, I was yeah. expecting whole other sets, like, oh, I'm going to San Diego, yeah. let's go, right? And I even saw, like, people's uh, posts on Reddit where they're like, dude, when you go to the tailor for the first time in San Denis, and it's like, fuck yeah. You know, like, the guy's mm. making it sound like you get all this sick shit. Nah, dude, we got... You get a couple hats and then a couple, like, things. And it's like, hats you don't want. Like, I don't want to look like a Victorian, you know, street urchin yeah like with my bowler <laughs> hat and shit like yeah right there's no good cowboy hats yeah in the game. there's actually no good cowboy hats at all no, there's like one terrible. it's the stalker hat um, yeah. oh yeah that one's okay yeah yeah but even the one that they say is the western hat looks trash yeah <laughs> yeah it's all terrible what's gonna say oh yeah and the gun thing mm-hmm the, yeah, the final guns don't unlock until halfway through chapter six and oh, they don't course. tell you when or how like i checked like for as soon as the chapter six opened i'm like okay theoretically new things should be unlocked i go to the gun store the guns aren't unlocked so i check again like halfway through chapter six i'm like oh now they're unlocked i don't know what's different between now and then but well, that's cool great well that's and nice the repeating, at, at the repeating least shotgun's pretty guns. cool but yeah th- that's another thing is it, it's a little weird they call them epilogues but you don't even get access to the better horses or the better guns until you get to the epilogues so you don't even get that yeah. better stuff until you've already beaten the main game basically yeah pretty much yeah. and i also strange. don't like literally there's no point to any of the like hunter exploration shit at all besides it looks slightly different yeah mm-hmm. it's which, just cosmetic which is so stupid i mean there's some stuff where it's like oh it raises the amount that you can have of this particular yeah but if you provision. have the upgraded version that just does it yeah. yeah it seems like after a certain threshold doing any of those challenge stuff yeah is it's no just, longer worth the challenge it's not even like yeah there's no like i have no interest in trying to gather any of the other and that's like half the fun yeah. in like a longer term game is is having now that... if they gave me some kind of bonuses right mm. then sure yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I gotta get this. This gives me this, and then it kind of it looks like a freaking I don't know. It looks like it's made out of walrus skin, so that's gonna be cool. <laughs> and you no, know, just, I gotta yeah. hunt walruses. Never done one of those <laughs> before. That's my boy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so, uh, so I pretty much just ignored the trapper completely after I got the upgraded gunslinger thingy and the, like the exploration bandolier. I don't. Yeah, it's it's crazy because like all the stuff you get for them, it's all variations on the same thing. I looked it up. Like, mm-hmm. um, all of the, um, well, the the majority of the uh, the stuff you get from doing the challenges, it's it's like you can get the the hunter version of this, or you can get the gunslinger version of this, and there's nothing different between the two of them. It's mm-hmm. just they look different. Yeah, I don't think I even uh, got those. I just bought the ones you buy at the store. I've been fine. I never ran out of ammo. Ever. Yeah, I've also, yeah. and ammo's so cheap. If you're a good guy, it's like a dollar for thirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. But that's but uh, like that's the yeah. main issue that I have with the game is the uh, the the loot or the the equipment you get seems to kind of like slowly fall off in importance, and then after a while, you just like this is just what you have now for the rest of the game, and it's like for half the game. Like, okay, yeah. this is what more I got. Than, it's more than for half. Yeah. I guess I was being um, nice by saying half, but like, yeah, I don't expecting... forget there's two epilogues, <laughs> right? I was expecting just a little bit more to be like unlocked as you go to keep it, to keep it fresh. Right. But at the yeah. same time, they have the thing where you become familiar with your gun. So you get slightly better with drawing it and stuff like that. So they want to keep that going. Also, didn't, wasn't there a thing where they're like, Hey, every building can be entered. I don't remember. I'm not for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was in that um, big list of things that right. we went over. Right, but then that, we came across a shack. Yeah, but we came. Across, were, it wasn't even a shack. It was like, it was a, like full, a full. House. It was a full like two story house. I think two story house. No way to enter it. Yeah, it was just all mm. boarded up. Yeah, I've had those. Yeah, Matt even just like, broke a window to try to get inside and wouldn't allow him to climb in. Well, that was a different place. Oh, was that a different place? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting mixed up. They happened in short uh, succession. Yeah, and then like like what the fuck? You buy the lock pick thingy. 
I've never used the lockpick thingy. Besides for the Literally, one mission-based one. Yeah. The, there's there's yeah. been zero places to do it at. <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, maybe this door will work. Nope. Maybe this safe nope, will yeah. work. Nope. Maybe this yeah. thing right here will work. Nope. Not, yeah. It never <laughs> works. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what well, is it's this just point? for story missions, essentially. I've only used it for story missions. <laughs> it's, God, it's so, so stupid. Because and like, then how do you get yeah. through a locked door? I dynamited it. I shot it. I didn't. I I walked up to it. Pressed L one R one. Then navigated to the thing. Into it. Yeah. <gasps> like. Oh, and, and kicking doors never breaks them open. Nope. Matt always tries to like do like the big boot. I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna work. Not never fucking works. Never works. Mm-mm. Like why even have nope. a big boot? But, yeah, I don't. Some I don't of the know. things yeah. is it feels like they're like, all right, this is gonna be sick. And then they hmm. forgot. <laughs> they what it, forgot what it. it. Feels like honestly. halfway yeah. through, they're like, "All right, we're gonna add this lock page. It's gonna be sick as hell, dude. Everybody's gonna be using it. You know, it's gonna be an upgrade, right? All right, yeah. Did you put all those things that made the lock pick actually worth a damn into the game, Fred? Fred's like, "Oh fuck, fuck. Do I was working on horse balls. <laughs> they shrink God. and get bigger. That was a priority. Oh no. All right, well, we'll just leave it in the game." And then Nobody they'll will care. they'll just try they'll it on every know. lock, and then it'll never work. And it'll be hilarious. We'll still sell ten million copies. Doesn't matter. I think that's the problem with the game. It's a death by a thousand cuts. It's it's so long and so big. It's just all those little things eventually add up. You're like, eh, fuck. Yeah. Well, it's not like there's you're short for many c- scenarios where you're gonna try to do that, hoping that it'll work, right? Yeah. So exactly. Yeah, it's a little bit well, annoying. I mean, overall, the game is still good. Right, but there's all these tiny little things that's like just tiny asinine, and, and because they don't tell you anything in the game, or at least they do, but it's like once and then forgotten, and never tell you again. Then you, yeah. you never know; you don't get feedback for any of the stuff, so you don't you never know mm. if something's gonna work or not. Oh. Like, oh, what were you gonna say? You gonna say? I say I, I forgot. Like the second to last mission, the the prompt for like, um, yeah, this this happened like the second to last mission. Suddenly at the top of the screen it says, when you do missions. The gang gets a cut, and then you get your cut of the of the of the cut. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's been this entire game. Is this oh. new? I, I don't understand. And like, I waited for like a second dialogue screen. I'm like, no. Now nope. you're telling me that. Okay, cool. No. I mean, I kind of gathered I just that got already. The, the prompt about getting mail. Ooh, nice. <laughs> the mail little icon. I've only ever gotten letters from your chick. Yeah, I mm-hmm. forget her name. Uh, Mary Lynch. Yeah, and those don't even go through the post office. No. They those, go yeah. right to your Desk. moving base. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. <laughs> that's uh, great. So you just have this post icon on the game like for like 20 hours. And mm-hmm. it just doesn't matter. You and then they s- have their no, there's one dude outside of Valentine who sells post stuff. Oh, like you yeah. can't interact with them at all. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you just yeah. be like you just greet or antagonize. Yeah. And he has like a little like, oh, you buy your postage stamps here and all this other oh, stuff. All your parchment, you can get special types of stuff. Like stuff. This. Send yeah. your stuff in style. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be sending letters probably eventually. When they pass me. Nah. In. Nah, they... you don't. You don't <laughs> do that. Yeah. The only time we've uh, I've ever seen Matt send a letter was we found a uh, a, a dinosaur, dinosaur bone. bone. And then when you're at the place, it doesn't tell you like that you you're supposed to go there, I guess, or unless it told you earlier and I didn't see it. But while we're looking at the the mail thing, it's like, oh yeah, you can send a letter to some researcher person about the location of this dinosaur bone. That's mm-hmm. it. If I, I had never found that. any kind of dinosaur bones or anything. I don't think that mail thing would have ever been used. Yeah, I think that's probably what procked it. Oh, yeah, that's 100% yeah. what procked it. But it's just yeah, like, yeah. why even have the dude in Valentine, the first city you go to... Dude, we should go back to him and see if he has options now. Sell postage <laughs> shit. We can put like we can send people messages and put little like perfume sprays on it to make it smell nice and it stuff. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. No None sense. it does. Yeah. And then it has like the little mail icon. Why? Why don't you just make that a different icon? Because mail, you're not doing that there. No, you're going there to pay bounties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you accidentally wrong place, I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> so it's some dumb, stupid shit. 
<laughs> it's oh yeah, just a bunch of little dumb things. Anyways, oh, oh what, what did you guys play this week? Oh well, what else did we play this week? Uh, we played. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about uh, something that Fitzgate missed today when we played Smash. So mm-hmm. um, I already told you I had my first win with the best of fives. That was pretty nice. And then the second time around, it, like I still won a game, but then you you uh, you th- did you reverse three on me? Well, not reverse three, but you you three owed me afterwards. Like I yeah. got one win, and then you, you killed me three times. So, but I mean, usually I don't win a single one, so that's nice. Um, the day of the Spencer. Day of the Spencer, yes. And then after we did a couple of episodes, uh, one of our viewers, Zykorth, came in and he was like, "Yo, have you ever thought about doing a CPU tournament?" And we had been thinking about it before, and I don't know if it was him that mentioned it before or somebody else, but um, mm. we're like, "Fuck it, let's just do it right now." So after we got after we got done with the, the episode that we were doing, we went through some setup for it. But we had this, we had two CPU tournaments where people in the chat were sponsoring their own character. So we'd have them pick the character they wanted, and then we'd have mm. we'd put together like a little bracket for them and stuff like that. And it was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, I kind of like a, a glimpse of that. But yeah, uh, yeah, Captain Falcon, my pick from the first round, which was a smaller one. There's only four people. Um, uh, one and then he was like a return we had like a whole lore for him like he, he was like a returning champion for the second one and his dad <laughs> ganondorf decided to come in last minute right because we didn't have enough people to pick people and so in order to have like an even amount we just threw ganondorf in there and yeah. he came back and won the whole thing ganondorf or falcon ganondorf ganondorf oh shit yeah he even beat yeah. his own son it's nuts no i mean yeah somebody's got to right so that was pretty <laughs> cool that was fun they take a long time they do take a long time, so I feel like we'll probably if we're, if we're gonna do one and we have a good number of people, we'll do one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're they're fun while they while they happen. And then we played the Quiet Man. You played the Quiet Man. That game is man. fucking trash. It is trash city, trash trash city, bitch. It is so mm-hmm. bad. And so I uh, have to test it. And honestly, I don't know. Like, if we don't have a save, I don't know if I want to. But play it's got the- it got a sixteen gigabyte patch, dude. 16 gigs. Did you know the update? Did you? Yeah, they added sound to the game. Now all of our lore means nothing. You know, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Are mm-hmm. we, I mean, like, if there, if our save didn't work, like, if there really is no save, like we've heard, then are we gonna just play from the beginning again? Because we're never gonna be able to beat the game that way. Because our our into the veil block only lasts an hour and a half. That's not long enough to yeah. beat Quiet Man. No, I. Yeah, hopefully that's just a rumor, and hopefully it's just, or hopefully it's just stemmed from some people like saying, "Oh, they didn't say my fucking game." And hopefully it's just a bug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they didn't get it. It's just so. If so sick, I don't know. You know, it's just really oh, sick. Game. Yeah. That they uh, had sixteen gigabytes to add sound. a week later to add the vocals to the game. That they and then they did. didn't have any patch notes or anything like that, so I didn't know what the 16 gigabytes were for. I mean, I figured some of it was sound, but yeah. I thought maybe bug fixes. Maybe maybe something else. Only thing I could nope. find was New Game Plus now has sound. Oh, and it's just yep. New Game Plus. Oh, yeah, buddy. You got to beat that yep. shit on death mode first. 16 gigs of uncompressed WAV file FLAC. They have FLAC file sound. Oog. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh yeah, uh, the producer uh, made a letter about it, and he posted it to the Quiet Man website. Um, if you thought this game was pretentious before, let's uh, let oh, read this oh. letter real quick. Um, let me know, let me know. <clears throat> a story will bring light to the truth, and maybe even uproot the mystery that was thought to have been solved. As if to say, I knew nothing at all. The first version that threw words away, the second version that brought words back in. A story dramatically transform. This is, is is the completed experience. And so, with everyone, I want to ask this. Can we really be strong to say we do not need words, even if we have them? In a world overflowing with words, can we really find something beyond them? My no, not even God. when you use sign language for most of the shit. It would have been different, my dude, director of The Quiet Man, if you had mm-hmm. had the deaf guy actually use sign language more than two times. Oh, and also tell mm-hmm. us people who don't know sign language at least what he's saying when he does the sign language, because that would make fucking sense. Yeah. 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 And I really yeah. love how people... Tired to talk to the silent man. They don't even look at him. 
And then he's like, yeah, I understand what you're saying. You're deaf, motherfucker. How do you hear yeah. that? <laughs> How do you hear? She's looking this way. You're looking the other way. You think he's thinking about holding hands. Ooh, I don't know. She's talking. How do you know she's talking? You can feel her vibrations. He's like Daredevil. This is some hey, dumbass you- shit with your dumbass game. Little yeah, bitch. It's a, t- <laughs> it's a terrible game. Highly do not recommend it. Don't Highly play it. I do not recommend it. <laughs> it's it's so only bad. $13, though. $15 if you bought it's still it. Still not worth it. No. Still not worth it. <laughs> no, no. Definitely not. Worst decision. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And they put Denovu on it. Yeah. Just to fuck you. Oh. Like, yeah. In case just, you want to crack the quiet man. Yeah. But like, like <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if nobody ever cracked it. Yeah. Because it's just <laughs> fucking bad. Shit. Yeah. Although usually the people who do crack that stuff, it's more about the challenge than actually whether or not it's worth it to crack a game. But still, mm. Ugh. Yeah. the game is fucking trash. Anything else we played this weekend? We played a uh, pummel party on Tuesday after the Quiet Man. Um, mm. awesome. I won back to back. Yeah, Matt won twice in a row. Oh, um, first game uh, happened almost the same way both twi- both times. No, I won by goblets the first time. The second time, it was down to the nut cut. Between you and Coulter? Between me and Coulter, we were like a few keys apart. Yeah. And I got lucky and the first game, got Matt, keys. Matt won, and we didn't even realize that it was over. Yeah. We're like, oh, shit. Okay, that was the last turn. Fuck. Are keys like stars? And like no, Mario goblets Party? Are, are, are stars. Are stars. So keys are like coins. Yeah, so uh, you, you get goblets. Uh, Well, yeah, you get goblets by paying keys and they cost 40 and then you're, you're it's like you're banking your keys and so it takes the mm. goblets and then and then you know if you have the same goblets as somebody else it takes the keys so you have some more keys. Ah, yeah gotcha gotcha cool 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 yeah, but that was fun um we played on the on, on the new horror map and they have like a, a roaming guy who runs around and, if, and, and 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 if he gets within range of you he hits you and like one shots you and but you just have the game forever no, 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 no. It's it's you just go back to one of the spawn locations. Uh, yeah. but you lose gotcha. like a ton of keys. Well fuck. Like thirty. Well it fuck. It varies, but it's it's, it's a, a lot. lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um what else? You played I Witcher. played The Witcher three some more. The game is real good. Um just got the Stelliga. Stelliga? Streliga? Don't ask me. I think it's Stelliga. I trust you. I don't know, some Nord thing plays. <laughs> some Nord know. bullshit. Um, but that's fun. I was playing that instead of Red Dead when I should have been playing Red Dead. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I can think of that I played. Yeah, I'm besides playing Thronebreaker with Colton, oh, yeah, which you do yeah. every Friday in the morning. Yep, every Friday, Thronebreaker, me and Rogue Rage Gaming. That's fun. You guys get anywhere with the story? Yeah. I mean, we're moving along. No, it's just mostly trucking it. You know, do, do you know like about where you think you might be? Like mid- How, midway through, or oh, yeah. uh, probably like two fifths. Oh, okay, sick. Getting to the halfway point. Oh wow! Yeah. And you also have your first uh, Gwent game that you uh, did by yourself. Well, with some co- light yeah, coaching. some light coaching. The deck is so good. Colder built such a good deck. Like it's like hard to not win. Like, yeah. You actually have to get fucked, like, to not just demolish, which is sick. Yeah. Because we're just walking through um, people. Cool. It's fun. Just wailing through them. Well, let's move on <laughs> to our first story of the day, 40 minutes into the podcast. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, we have um, the Xbox One showcase happened. So X, X, it's, it, was, it was like XO... 18 is yeah what they were calling xo18 yeah yeah blip so tired so, of all this pretentious bullshit x <laughs> zo18 it's i think it's just xbox 118 no, it's 2018 or some shit mm-hmm. but yeah. um there's a couple of uh nice little bits of news here um the biggest ones that i saw were the two acquisitions that they made well you just keep had, buying more companies yeah they had said they had already bought those companies before they they did this obsidian oh, they were just announcing in exile it. Yeah. really mhm they really they said it like a week before uh, this conference okay mm. yeah but they have obsidian now and they have in exile um obsidian obviously being the creators of like or at least the developers of 
Fallout Pillars of New Vegas yeah. and Pills of Eternity and uh, they had a, b- a bunch of the people, like designers in that company are people who made a lot of the classic CRPGs in the past. Uh, hey, Sheriff, what's going on? What yeah, up, Sheriff? Sheriff. Um, and then in XL, they did uh, uh, Wastelands 2 and uh, another game. The Bard's Tale. The Bard's Tale, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Basically, people are... It, it's it's to suggest that maybe there's more RPGs to be RPG games to be expected on the Xbox One in the future, maybe. Yeah. Or, Apparently, they're supposed to keep their like creative control. That's good. And then Microsoft is more or less like a publisher pumping money into them kind of situation. Yeah, I haven't seen anything to suggest that we should not like at least kind of trust Microsoft with their acquisitions, unlike other companies. No, they yeah. definitely. <laughs> Like they've killed companies like Rare, right? That that is like, a big one. Yeah, Rare. Yeah, like Microsoft is still a corporation at heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I guess just not as. And it's just so companies. funny to me that everybody's like, "Yeah, Microsoft now like had three studios. Now they own 13. Yeah, it's like that's such a weird thing to you applaud. You don't really want to applaud that. Mm. It's it's, yeah. it's just it is a it's just bit weird. weird. Yeah, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, they're gearing up for the next console generation. They're gonna have exclusives. They're gonna do this. They're gonna do that. They're gonna have yeah, at least thirteen they, exclusives. They, they, <laughs> well, they're take, they're buying out other companies. It's weird. Yeah, it's like oh, oh okay. So now if it's, EA it's, did that, you'd be like, oh what? They bought Obsidian. <laughs> rip Obsidian. Yeah. Exactly. Rip, rip. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah, everybody's dead. Great. But yeah, I'd, oh god. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, those. Hopefully, they do something with those. Um, what else do they have? They oh, they the they have the uh, Crackdown three slated for mid February. Finally, mid February. Finally, a release date for Crackdown three. Also, <laughs> if you own an Xbox One, um, you uh, automatically get a copy of Crackdown. It's free for Xbox Ooh. One owners. Yeah, yeah. We have an Xbox One, but like, it's just over there on the floor, <laughs> just hanging out. Ours yeah. is uh, we sold ours to because of the traveling. So, yeah. bye bye Xbox. Bye bye Crackdown <laughs> One. <laughs> um, also, Xbox One gains mouse and keyboard support. So, starting next Ooh. week, it's going to be available for people who play Fortnite and Warframe. Um, which just further pushes things into um, where now PS4 is going to ha- want to have to have that because having, uh, I guess the question that I have is having mouse and keyboard support. Oh no, but PS4 already had mouse and keyboard support, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they did. Mm. Yeah, so actually Xbox yeah. One's behind on this one. But so are they going to have the same thing where if you play mouse and keyboard on the Xbox One, you'll be put into the queue of other mouse and keyboard players? Like with I would imagine PS4? so. Yeah. I would assume yeah, so it just basically allows you to play with PC players at this point. Why can't you just use a controller until you're inside the game and then switch to the mouse and keyboard? Uh, I'm assuming it would know. I don't know. Gah, we're going to get him. That's how we hack oh, the system, guys. Yeah, we're going to be more we'll Fortnite slightly players. Slightly better than the people with controllers. Yeah, no aim exactly. assist for us. All skill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. So yeah, that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. You're probably going to have some super expensive uh, Xbox-specific keyboard and mouse yeah. that you can only use. So, <laughs> nice, yeah, I think. Yeah, or third-party, or just, accept, you know, uh, what do you call them, peripherals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm seeing here uh, Final Fantasy XIII Trilogy joins Xbox One backward compatibility program. There you go, dude. I already played those on PC, yeah, and they're you, bad. You like so, so much, right? I did not. I tried, but no. Oh, I didn't even realize this, but I, I was telling Matt before that Sea of Thieves announced a new fast-paced PvP mode, right? Mm-hmm. Fast pace. Yeah, um, and the, the the caption underneath the, the title of this on Polygon, it says, it's not a battle royale, but it's a Botol royale? Wrote that. Cast Marshall. Fire him. I <laughs> want to hang myself. So I guess now it's, there's it's like a full PvP mode in the game who, that is who like a battle royale like, yeah. in Sea of Thieves. I'm going to play Sea of Thieves Boto Royale. <laughs> it's not called Boto Royale, but I see. Yeah. <laughs> Instead so of just, is it just briefing on the main server anyways, where yeah. there are tens of people. Yeah, they have a place called The Arena that you can do. It's a mode. 
Oh, so, okay. I, I was going to ask if it's just literally Battle Royale, but you're out on the sea, which would have been cool, I guess. But you're literally just fighting in an arena? Oh, uh, no. So it's called the arena. Basically, it says... Um, do, 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 do. Let's see here. It's, it's a... Uh... It includes a PvP arena designed for pirates looking to skip the parlay and get right to the action. It's set to launch early in 2019. The new game mode puts players into matches in a race to find treasure. No, it's not a battle royale. It's a battle royale. In an environment that will force you to encounter and defeat other players. So you'll still be on a ship. It's the same as the base but game. But now there's like, there's like a goal everyone has. Everybody has the same goal. The only thing to do is to collect loot. Now it's forced griefing now, basically. It's forced griefing. Yeah, or like maybe it's just... Um... Like kind of like separate from the main world, which I guess is, is kind of cool. It, yeah, Again, it's though, separate. it's the same because it's, it's, the, not, it's not in, for us. Yeah, in the in <laughs> it's the, the same in saying it's not for us. <laughs> well, I'm just saying because in the game you just go on a boat and you go get treasure and then you kill other people in the boat. What's the difference? Man, man, one has. Well, yeah, you don't get it. You haven't played the game since all of the patches. There's all this other content now. No, there's not. Yeah, dude, they got like other patches with stuff. Like no, sound. they didn't. <laughs> well, they did get no, patches. I like... know, but it's not with stuff. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that game is still alive. Like I, I, I like I said, tens of it. people are playing it. Tens. Yeah, somehow. Maybe, maybe they're just whales. Maybe even 19. <laughs> maybe even 19. And everybody just pumps out thousands and thousands of dollars trying to buy fucking equipment all the time. That's the only thing I could think of. That's that's it. It's just They found a bunch of literal whales. Well, not literal <laughs> whales, but you know <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm losing it. Like, what is that? Like, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's cool. Fuck right, that guys? game. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Cool. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God Sea of Thieves is still doing okay. <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, 16 games were added to the X Plus Game Pass. Now, the Game Pass, that's something I'm interested in. The because Game Pass. Cool. Yeah, so, so the, it, oh, in the Game Pass... um. A couple of titles went is is going to be available tomorrow. Thief of Thieves didn't know that was a game. Um, Agents of Mayhem MXGP3. Thomas was alone. It's set to be. I think November this is 22nd. a typo. I think it's Maybe supposed it's to be Sea of Thieves. Of Thieves. Oh, that, that's already been available. I thought. Um, yeah. No, it was only for the two. Oh right. Two I weeks, guess they're bringing it, it back. But now it's like you can play it as long as you have the yep. pass. Right. And it says in December, Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, G G Kingdom Two Crowns, and Hellblade: Senior Sacrifice will be added to the Xbox Game Pass, which is awesome. I can't wait for more people to play Hellblade. Um, mm -hmm. During the holiday season, indie titles: uh, After Charge, Supermarket Shriek, Mutants Year Zero, uh, Pathologic Two, The Good Life, Void Bastards, uh, Bastards, and Secret Neighbor will be introduced to the library. Um, but it, Ori and the sequel will be available for the Xbox Game Pass, actually. Yeah. Cool. So, I, also, isn't fucking what was it? Battle or not Battlegrounds? Um, uh, PUBG. Yeah. It's also yes, going PUBG. Game Pass. Yeah, PUBG is gonna be available in Game Pass too. Which is did cool. you see the cool? Did you see the cool thing that's coming with PUBG soon? Hmm. They're gonna have the Joker and Harley costume sets for it. It's gonna be great, guys. Right, Who are you gonna be? SWAT thing, right? I th yeah, I, th I think so. Are you guys more of a Joker or are you guys more of a Harley? What are you? What are you? I mean, uh, I'm definitely more of a Joker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since I have a dick, I'm gonna go with Harley. <laughs> Wait a minute, the plot twist at the last second. <laughs> Switch converted. And got him. Yeah, I I would be probably be a Harley. I guess I don't know. More like Harlot, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, we're cheap. Ladies. I get it. I'm a whore. Okay, great. Thanks for bringing it up on the podcast. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. I think that's pretty much it. Well, uh, we had the other for two things. Xbox. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's it for the, the Xbox. Xbox one. Yeah. yeah. So that that's some of the news for the Xbox uh, One showcase thing for 2018. Biscuit, um, uh, you want to start us off about when talking about the Battlefield Five stuff? Uh, yeah, um, so Battlefield 5 has this thing, um, oh god, so we'll, we'll start from the, the, um, the normal to the, the more, uh, extravagant ways to play Battlefield 5. If you have the standard edition, you can play on November 20th. Cool. If you have the deluxe edition, you can play it on November 15th, uh, five days earlier. Okay, I guess, whatever. 
And now this is where it gets complicated because there's like 13 different um, uh, EA accesses, origin accesses. But um, let me just try to read this image here real quick. I'm just going to. OK, so. Um, mm -hmm. So if you have origin access premiere, which mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, is the one you pay for. Yeah, you play for you can, both. You can. Uh, yeah, you can play the, the full game on November 9th. If you just have the basic, you get a 10 hour trial and this mm -hmm. is for the PC version. Mm -hmm. uh, the Xbox one, yeah, um, you can have a 10 hour trial with EA access. So that's cool. PS4 gets nothing, unfortunately, because you know, origins all about that PC Xbox life, which this has to be the most, not the most complicated it's ever been, but it's pretty up there. It's it's a very unique, um, well, early the, access the thing is, system. Is that you can the origin uh, access and EA access are the same thing. Just ones for consoles, ones for PC. Okay, but well, you that's... might as well just keep those the, as the same. It's okay. Cool. They have different what... games, but literally because there's different games on the consoles versus the yeah, yeah. the uh, other stuff. Um, okay. I wasn't for sure about that between EA access, EA access and Origin access. I didn't know if that was different or not. So, well, yeah. okay, that, that's a uh, slightly easier. Yeah. So basically, maybe? it's by the standard, get a ten hour free trial, mm -hmm. or have mm -hmm. the. Uh, oh no! By the standard, yeah. Did you get the free trial with the with the standard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! You can play on on, on November twentieth, um, which is I guess when it comes out, right? And then uh, if you get so if you just buy the standard, you don't actually get, you don't you don't actually get a trial. You just can play it when it comes out. Yeah, the standard edition of the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. with Origin access or whatever standard or whatever, you get to play the ten hour trial. Right. Yeah. So yeah, just regular, not paying for premium access, you get the ten hour trial. Premiere. Premiere. And <laughs> then um, if you buy the Deluxe Edition, you get it five days earlier. But you don't have to buy the game to just get a Premiere uh, thing, and you can just play the game. Yep. If you subscribe to EA, you don't have to mm -hmm. buy the game at all. You just get access to the game right away. Yep. What no purchase fuck? necessary. What? Yeah, you get That's... the game. Huh. But if you buy the game... The standard edition, you don't get the access that you get if you had the premiere access. Mm -hmm. You have to wait till the game comes out. Oh, it's even deeper. Great, cool. It's yeah, not, it's it's not that complicated, people. No, it just it's just the way it ended up <laughs> happening. It makes it sound <laughs> so deep and weird. Um, it's it's with premiere. You get early access. No, I get it. I understand yeah. what's going on. It's yeah, just gotcha. it is complicated. <laughs> there's thirteen. There's uh, three different versions up here. Uh, two only have the actual game in them. The other one are the other two things are subscriptions that you can ha that you have and you can either pay for the sub sub subscription and get the game or you can have the basic version and just play a demo of it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. I mean, it's not on the levels of uh, early access bullshit as of uh, Deus Ex Human Rev or um, Mankind, Mankind Divided, Divided where uh, mm, you had tears pre order. pre-order. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. So I'll give him that, but it is it is it's it's, it's fucking weird. Okay, it is a little weird. Yeah, it's not but standard. okay, true. Yeah. But I would <laughs> have you look at Ubisoft's lineup of no. their gold editions versus their whatever editions versus their other editions. Yeah, we have looked. Yeah, yeah, we have. Mm. Yeah. Again oh, also, before. here's like a five thousand dollar one you can buy with a steel <laughs> sword and a leather jacket and a or that one with like the golden head thing. Yeah, or whatever. some bullshit. Yeah, the head, the headphones, and the bust. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, I'm no, it's, for it's, those are also Origin yeah. Access and <laughs> Premiere going this way. Where because they want you to subscribe, so as long as you're subscribed, you have access to the game, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it is cheaper than buying the game. Yeah, overall. plus you get a bunch of other shit as well. So I guess from a consumer yeah, standpoint, you would bananas. want to subscribe, not buy the game, because yeah. you just get access anyways, and you get access right away. You don't have to wait. You, in fact, you get access earlier than if you got the deluxe edition. I wonder how much origin it gives. It gives people kind of a weird thing because, like, if you buy the deluxe edition, yes, you get it five days earlier. I think it's like a hundred dollars. And you get all this. It's eight, like it's, for a year. Oh, okay. oh! You scared me for a second. Like for a month. Yeah, it's fifteen bucks a month. So yeah, and so, probably there's yeah. other tiers to it. So yeah, okay, like, that's not and, bad. And then, and then you have a, a, a value proposition because they're like, oh, I could just get the deluxe edition. 
I'll get it five days earlier. I won't get it as early as other people, mm-hmm. but I get all the deluxe edition stuff. Or you could just not get the deluxe edition, have the subscription, but you don't get the deluxe edition extra stuff. It, you can also upgrade from the, the origin thing. So, uh, like, I have origin uh, access, mm-hmm. like the basic, and I get all the games in the vault that they have. So I can get all the Dead Spaces, all the Mass Effects, all the Dragon Ages, and they're like the deluxe editions of those. They don't come with all the DLC, but you can just buy the DLC without having to buy the mm. game, without having to do all the other. So I guess they're moving towards the a format that is better. It's like Netflix of games. Yeah, this is exactly what everybody's trying to trying yeah. to do. Which uh, I mean, yeah. on one hand, it's like I don't want to have to subscribe to all these different things, but at the same time, it's like it does Again, make no, it so like uh, a net easier. Like so, yeah. what, like PlayStation. Uh, plus, uh, plus, not plus. The their PlayStation now, now or whatever. Yeah. They're now. They need. It needs to get cheaper because it's bullshit how it is now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's like a hundred dollars uh, a year or something like that. So yeah, I think then it's Origin expensive. Premiere is like a hundred dollars a year. Yeah. And then the Game Pass is probably a hundred dollars a year. So that's three hundred dollars. Listen, and the Amazon Prime's a hundred dollars a year. Well, who pays for that? <laughs> we all have moms that pay for that. Um, <laughs> so. That's three hundred dollars, and then assuming, like you get, like five games from or each? so from not even from each from total total all together yeah all together you've already like spent more you've yeah you've already come out ahead of buying mm-hmm. six or five or six brand new games yeah yeah which is cheaper in the long run and it's a little easier and if you're like. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this new Madden. I don't know if the physics are good. Oh, that's true. And then you go, I'm just going to get premiered, and then I get all these vault games for whatever, you know? You know, now that I think about it, it does seem like that it, uh, this is how they're going to lower the amount of piracy in games. Well, yeah, it's 100%. Spotify, mm-hmm. uh, Google Play, like uh, uh, all YouTube these other music. things, you give people easier access to shit. And a, you know, a fee that's reasonable. I'd much rather, mm. you know, go through their services than having to. As long as the services work, yeah. Obviously, uh, yeah. Pay a little and then get all of the shit that you want for whatever. It's the same reason why Netflix does good. Hulu is fine. Yeah. Like, because mm-hmm. you're like, well, I could pirate all this stuff, but like, or I could just pay four ninety nine. I mean, that's how we got the Big Brother. Yeah, we're like CBS All Access. Like uh, we could pirate, like you know, forty episodes of Big Brother, or just pay four ninety nine and get the whole thing and get all of it. Yeah. Why would anybody <laughs> ever want to pirate Big Brother or any of those shows? <laughs> Who are you, dude? And what it's world a good are you show? With? All right, it's a good trash show. Dan I guess. Giesling's in it, and we watched his seasons, and they were great. Yeah. Oh, he's the, what, the big giant bomb guy? No. No, he's the guy who uh, sometimes streams with Norlion. Oh. Uh, yeah. Huh. But, uh, anyways, all of these subscription services or whatever, if you give them a simple, easy way to do things, people are more willing to pay. Yeah. Yeah. And the Origin, like, access, like, kept me from pirating plenty of EA games. Because mm-hmm. I was like, ah, I want to play Dragon Age 2. Yeah. Uh, I don't have it on Steam. I'm like, ah, I could pirate it. But I don't want to wait. Like, I have to, like, do a bunch of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or I just pay, you know, $15 or whatever. It was a year. It was like 24 bucks. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'll just get the year. And I got all these other games. The real question that comes out of all of this is you have these bigger companies that have these uh, subscription services for their published games, right? Um mm-hmm. What happens with all of the indie games? Is there going to be something that comes around? They still have Steam. Yeah, they still have Steam, but is there going to be a subscription service where indie games can join and like s- kind of sell or, 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 or be able to have their games be available on? Because, like, for instance, well, yeah. Microsoft. Twitch Prime. Uh, <laughs> Humble Bundle, I guess, right? <laughs> that too. Or Discord. 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 Oh, yeah, Discord now. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I forgot Discord's now a, a seller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I guess that's going to happen. Yeah, but I yep. would just assume that they're, you know, adding on to whatever, like, because they have indie games on the Origin Vault as well. True. And, mm. you, you know, 
I think probably Xbox One has indie games on well, there. Well, yeah, I mean they're all they're, they're, we're, we were just talking about like a bunch of indie games that PlayStation were made available. really is not the not the platform for indie. No, it's just like oh, here's all of our old stuff that was on the other PlayStation stuff. Mm-hmm. Here, mm. play all these older games. Oddly enough, the Vita was okay for indie stuff, but nobody plays the Vita, so that mm-hmm. point is mute. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I definitely think Switch is turning into the indie machine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they kind of have the Steam problem where, like, 40% of the indies that they allow on are trash. Right. Not as yeah. bad of a problem, obviously, but still, like, yeah. it's becoming kind of crazy. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Some of them are, like, two ninety nine. I'm like, this is like what, what, play this new is this tower it? defense, and I'm like, fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> that tower defense trash out here is a sad excuse for a genre of games. Mm-hmm. All right, so do we want to end off with talking about the Final Fantasy 15 thing? I know we're a little bit over, but uh, we can do it real quick. Um, basically, uh, uh, what was it, Squeenix? They're like, hey, we have a huge uh, Final Fantasy 15 live stream presentation. Uh, let's get get hyped for it. Well, they didn't say that, but they just said <laughs> we have a big presentation coming up. We're like, okay, cool. And like most people think, like, oh, that's good news or c- more content or something. Mm-hmm. It's the opposite. The game director Hajime Tabata has uh, left the company. I don't know if he was uh, let go or if he just I think left. He quit. Okay, so you just quit. Pretty sure. Yeah, they're calling it a departure. A depart. Okay, so yeah, left company, departure, quit. So instead of having four DLC packs, which they've been killing it with like DLC for the game for like the last year or two, pretty much ever since it came out with the game, and people were like, "What the fuck?" And they're like, "Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh God, sorry. No, this is what I was supposed to. Be. Oh, oh God, we fucked up bad." Um. So they uh, decided to cut out three of the four announced DLCs for mm-hmm. next year, which would have been uh, uh, Concerns the Characters of Ariana, which I'm not for sure uh, who is that, Luna Frey, which is the princess or whatever, and yeah. Noctis, which is the... Well, I thought, not, I thought the main game was the Noctis DLC, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. but, maybe the main character DLC might be important. Yeah, but uh, I guess... I guess they decided not to uh, deal with that, which, um, who do they keep? Oh, Arden. That's right. They, they're keeping a DLC pack about the main, the game's main antagonist, yeah. which, um, yeah. uh, I'll know more about that when I actually play the game, which right. I do have it. So I'll probably have to check that out sometime soon. Maybe after Red Dead, but, right, um, right. yeah, so people are like really bummed down, like really disappointed. Like, oh, well, okay. I mean, maybe yeah, they... just, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Well, I was just say, yeah, they're they're uh, they're moving on to another AAA title. Basically, is what they're saying. Um, yeah. I guess one thing that you can be like okay with is that they're coming out with separate multiplayer components uh, called Comrades that will get standalone editions on Xbox One and PS4. That's already come out. Uh, no, it, it's announced. That's already come out. I had the DLC for it. Uh, well, no specific mention of it was made for PC. Is what it said. It came with. I'm just telling you what this thing's telling. I'm saying. I, think, like I think they're releasing more comrade yeah. oh, stuff. Oh, oh, it, it's a separate it's multiplayer just... component. You can get it separately from the game. Oh. Yeah. They're releasing like a standalone version a of it. A standalone, yeah. version. standalone version. Yeah. See? And then it says later it was announced that Final Fantasy 15 will also get a special event designed for 15 owners, which features Noxus in a quest titled Adventure from Another World. Mm, what oh, crossover wow. are we getting this time? Hmm. An MMORPG event. Wow. Wow. And you but kept yeah. in your same universe. Wow. That's so very ballsy. Final Fantasy 15 content cut short a little bit based, mm. uh, because of the director's uh, uh, leaving of the company. Yeah. But they are working on another uh, tri- tri- AAA game and they have some content coming out. But it's definitely going to end much sooner than expected. Yeah. They're like, oh, okay. Well. Which, I mean, I give them crap for releasing all the DLC they have so far, just making yeah. that game packed full more of more I mean, things. Honestly, <laughs> the side quests in there are still trash. Yeah. Are they? They're great. Yeah. There, go kill this. Go collect that. Yeah. Classic. Classic Psych- wow. Like, you know, side get five bare asses type scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, to their credit, though, I didn't think that they were going to make half this stuff afterwards. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect nearly as much as, they had, as they've already done, so... Well, rip, rip, yeah, f- f- fifteen. 
<laughs> but um, all right. Well, I mean, anything else that we want to talk about, to say about that specifically? No. Yeah. No. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the outro. Fistcake, why don't you tell people where they can find you and what you're doing? You can find me on twitch.tv slash fistcake where I stream at least a few days a week. Monday and Tuesday, I play games with these boys. Yeah. And uh, Monday, we play uh, Dark Souls with Rogue Rage Gaming. Uh, Tuesday, we do Into the Veil. Um, always fun. Always good stuff. Um, need to finish working on that compilation of the Marky Mark scenario from last right. week. Right. Because that's probably the best thing we've had this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, so that's going on YouTube.com slash Fist Cake. Fist Cake. God damn it. It's always Fish Cake. Um, <laughs> I'll have uh, Resident Evil 6 and Delta Rune videos coming up this week. Um, once 6 gets finished, I'll probably switch that over to the Get Even stuff. And then go from there. Delta Rune should last for a few months, I think. Because I only do like 10, 15 minute episodes. So. Nice. Um, Maximum content. Something like that. <laughs> also, to, I personally... I very rarely like to enjoy watching videos that are longer than 10 minutes unless like I just play in the background and don't actually watch them. I just mm-hmm. kind of listen to them or whatever. But um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So those are going on. Also, the podcast should be up tomorrow. Um, I forgot to switch everything over with everything going on this week. Um, so stay tuned. I'm trying to think of what else. No, I'm at the Twitters at the Fist Cake. I tweet sometimes. Most of my frustrations with Red Dead 2 right now. Um, and I do believe I reckon that's about it. What are you, where people can find you two cowpokes? <laughs> well, uh, you can find us on YouTube and uh, Twitch at the same handle, Neanderthal Gaming TV. Uh, most of what goes up on our YouTube channel is what we play oh, um, on our stream. So feel free to see us uh, play play stuff live on the stream, or if you miss it, you can check out the episodes uh, usually the week or two later um, on the YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow us on uh, Twitter at Neanderthal GTV as well. Uh, coming up this week, we do have Monday is Dark Souls, Tuesday is Into the Veil, obviously, and then um, we have Smash content, and eventually we're going to play uh, uh, you know Escape from Tarkov. Um, but you know, other events happen. You know, things are going down. Mm-hmm. What can you do? Uh, what but can for you content do? can speak. Content can speak. Content, content oh, conspicuous. No. Content complete specific information. <laughs> Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at ConComCast. That's uh, where you get information about the podcast itself as well as Into the Veil. Um, you can uh, send us ideas and suggestions to ContentCompleteCast at gmail.com. Uh, the podcast does go live at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Sundays on our Twitch.tv slash ConComCast as well as Twitch.tv slash TV. All episodes are available on YouTube. Uh, the audio-only version is available on your favorite podcasting app, and both are released on Mondays. So we stream on Sundays, and we release it again on Monday. Any last words? Mm. No. Nah. Bless, bless you and your little hearts for listening. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> End it how we opened it awkwardly. Uh, uh, bu- uh bye. Uh, 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 uh,